Alphabet Squadron by Alexander Freed is a very character-driven book. As you probably know by now, I am obsessed with the pilots of Star Wars, particularly the members of the Rebellion and the New Republic. So today I'm going to introduce you to the main members of the New Squadron to take you through their backstories. There will be some spoilers and revelations from the book ahead, so be warned for that. First, as a group, Alphabet Squadron was assembled as a task force to fight against the Imperial TIE Fighter Squadron Shadow Wing. The idea came from New Republic Intelligence Officer Cairn Adan, a Balassar who wanted to prove that a small group could be highly effective when provided the proper intelligence. This was necessary because the New Republic was not a large faction that was particularly used to winning wars, much less controlling an entire galaxy. Cairn's ideas were largely brushed aside, so he had to take what he could get on his own. He wound up gathering a group of pilots who held vendettas against Shadow Wing, and it just so happened that each of them flew a different type of starfighter. This earned them some derision from other, more seasoned squadrons who laughed at the entire alphabet's worth of ships taking up space in their hangar. Erika Quell led the group that would eventually become named Alphabet Squadron. She originally joined the Imperial Navy to get flight training with the intent of defecting to the Rebellion, but the longer she stayed inside the Imperial machine, the more comfortable she found it. Eventually, she was able to join Shadow Wing. It wasn't until the genocides of Operation Cinder that she finally decided to leave. Her history with Karen's military target caught his eye, and he pulled her into New Republic service with a desk job until she earned some of his trust. When she began leading missions, she flew an X-Wing. Nath Tenzent was another former Imperial, but he defected well before the Battle of Endor. He fled the Empire after he was caught using his status to line his own pockets. As a part of the Rebellion, he joined a Y-Wing squadron that was destroyed by Shadow Wing. The sole survivor of the attack, he struck out on his own and used his starfighter to provide protection for a shady outpost until Cairn sent Quell to recruit him. Will Lark grew up riding flying creatures called Seravkas on his remote homeworld, Polyneus. They were free of the Empire for a while, but they eventually built a weapons platform in their system for some unknown reason. The platform polluted their world and affected their Seravkas. Each village on Polyneus decided to send one pilot to join the Rebellion and fight the Empire, so Will answered the call. He became an extremely talented A-Wing pilot flying in Riot Squadron alongside the B-Wing pilots of Hound Squadron. Chas Nachatik was one of those B-Wing pilots. She was a Thelon that grew up in the Outer Rim. In the Five Point System, she met a woman named Leanna Halleck, who saved her life from some thugs. When she saw rebel holovids of the Battle of Scarif and then Yavin, she realized that Jyn Erso was her savior. From there, she decided to join the fight against the Empire, first flying with the Cavern Angels, part of the Partisans, and eventually joining the Rebel Alliance itself, flying a B-Wing in Hound Squadron. She had a collection of music she listened to while she flew. Both Chas and Will found themselves in the fight of their lives against Shadow Wing, and the two of them were the only survivors. The most enigmatic member of Alphabet Squadron was Kairos, the U-Wing pilot. She was masked and usually completely silent, but was a formidable fighter both in and outside the cockpit. She did share her story in the form of pictures, and it sounds like she had a simple life somewhere in the Outer Rim that was disrupted by war brought on by the Empire's expansion. The war brought destruction and changed Kairos into the woman she was when Karen met her. Her story is very vague, and if it's decipherable in the book, I'm not smart enough to do it. But I think her previous friendship with Karen makes her the earliest Alphabet Squadron recruit. But that's all of them. Like I said, some of that backstory actually plays out in the book, and some of it is told by the characters as they get to know each other. But I wanted to give you a taste of who these people are if it helps people pick up the book. I said it in my review, but it's one of my favorite canon books right now. If you're interested in checking it out for yourself, consider picking it up for free on Audible. Just follow the link in the description or visit www.audibletrial.com slash Star Wars Explained. The audiobook is out right now, and the production value on all the Star Wars books is very high with sound effects and music. It's like listening to a movie. Signing up for an Audible trial will get you a credit for one free book, and you can use it on Alphabet Squadron or just about any Star Wars book you can think of. Or get any book you want. The point is, you get a free audiobook, and you'll be supporting the channel when you do. But that's it for today. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out our Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.